You've all seen this, right? The BP disaster. Oil, of course. Now, a similar disaster would be a disaster like this, where Facebook could leak and <laughs> leak out my information, as has happened in the past, right? It would be a similar accident of similar proportions, where people could see things that are not supposed to see. And we could, in fact, be sitting here looking at ourselves already in the future, or as already being in the oven, uh, as far as the data is being concerned. Uh, then we have, of course, a big issue in that what we've done on Facebook is in many ways a game, right? I mean, it's, it's an interesting game, right? but is it, is it real? And of course, then the question really is, uh, when you look at all this stuff and with the Facebook IPO coming, up, IPO coming up, data and social and mobile is becoming a huge, a trillion dollar market. Now, this is in fact why the telecoms are looking at this market, right? They're saying, wait a minute, we're, three, we're worth three trillion dollars a year? We should have a piece of this, right? The data, mobile, social, solomo, as people call it, market. And then we have various confusions in the last couple of years. You know, here's uh, uh, Julian Assange is saying, you know, I give private information to corporations to you for free, and I am the villain. And Zook says, I give your private information to corporations for money. I am man of the year. Right. There, there's many issues that we're facing for the first time. What are the standards of this? Right? What is the standard for privacy? Who is supposed to use it? Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I not doing this? Right? This is actually quite confusing because it's a first time thing. I personally think that a do not track option will be very important. But we have a big problem here, right? Because in a way, we're getting so much stuff for free from those companies that are using our data, like Google, that if we were to ask them not to track us, they would lose the whole argument of giving to us to, in the first place, right? Because that, that is kind of the deal, right? Can we have the cake and eat it, right? Look at this research, right? The Wall Street Journal, I just did this this morning, actually. They did research and I actually voted uh, yes. Would you use a do not track button on your web browser? And, you know, almost 90% of those people said they would. But if they did this, advertising on the web would be dead. Which means that we wouldn't get the free stuff that we're now getting. I mean, how can we get free YouTube if we don't want them to track us? Because then they couldn't advertise to us. So this is a big problem in the machinations of, uh, of the advertising business, which is roughly a trillion dollar business, right? funding a lot of content. 